John Oliver from Vancouver has been looking at stars and he has a question about something that he sees, so he wrote to us. Why do stars, headlights and street lamps appear pointy or spiky at night? I'm sure it's not just my bad night vision because even video and photographs show this effect, but with varying numbers of points. What determines the number of points we see? Well, John, here's physicist Robin Marchbanks with your answer. Diffraction. Diffraction's the answer. When light spreads out, when it travels, all of the light matters. So one part of the light actually is in relationship with the rest of the light that's there. If you try and block part of the light, then what happens is you can set up a new relationship amongst the part of the light that still does travel forward. And so, in fact, what can happen is you can set up an interference pattern or a diffraction pattern. And this, around an edge, looks like a line that spreads out left and right across that edge. So if you have a camera lens, which has an f-stop to it, that controls an iris, an aperture inside the lens. And that can have a number of sides to it. As you close that down then, eventually those edges begin to matter as they diffract the light. And so you'll create a kind of a spike on both sides of each of those edges. So an iris that has five sides that closes in will make ten spikes that come off a bright light that's in the object that you have there. So for street lights, for stars, whenever you're photographing them, those spikes are the result of diffraction. There's another effect though too, another phenomenon, which is just an ordinary kind of scattering. And that's not the same as diffraction. If, for instance, you're in your car driving at night, look out through the windscreen and see a, a traffic light or a bright street light, you can see stripes off that light that end up uh, extending up and down your windscreen. That can be caused because a scratch is put in the glass by the windshield wipers as they go back and forth. So each time that the windshield wiper goes back and forth, it can leave an arc, kind of a scratch on the surface of the glass. And as the light comes in, it can scatter off those scratches. And it'll pick up just the ones that are perpendicular. And so around a light, you'll see an arc, a kind of a stripe that extends across all the scratches that you have. And that can apply as well for your eyes. As you get older, you can actually get scratches on your cornea that can do the same sort of thing and cause little halos around very bright lights. That's one of the things that can cause that.